Hey guys, and welcome to my second Hardcore Bomboy update video. As you can see, we're starting out pretty strong here with a black mask. Um, that was really, really easy to get, surprisingly. I know some people have struggled for hours, but we got it in. 33 kills, according to Eris Buddy. I wasn't there long, that's for sure. Next, we're moving on to Recipe for Disaster. I uh, managed to finish it finally. I'm very, very keen to get that done. The Barrage Gloves are obviously best in slot for range, you know, until we get into much crazier gear um, and melee. So they're obviously going to come in handy for all sorts of things. Um, and in case you're wondering, I used a 20k XP lamp on Herblore to get myself level 55. And then we bought the Barrage Gloves. Very, very nice. There we go. Now we're off to Barrows. And it took us a long time, but on the 31st chest, we got our first item, which is a Toro's Plate. It's not a bad one to start with. I am here mainly to get carols, really, because I'm going to attempt to fire cape. But as you can see, 10 chests later, I get the Darak's Helm. And I believe three chests after that, get the Guthans Helm. Yeah, so we're having quite, quite hot luck so far. It's not amazing, but it's going quite well. And then after that, I believe another 15 chests later, we get another Darak's Helm and an Aram's Top, which is obviously going to be useful, but uh, not so much right now. Then here we're taking a little break. I've been doing quite a lot of Slayer Point boosting. As you can see uh, in the chat there, I've done 120 tasks um, and I'm up to 766 points. I just wanted to get that herb sack as fast as possible. Um, as you can see, I've got the Soul Bearer head there. Me and my friend did that. We had two accounts logged in each, searching through the library, trying to get that. It was very, very easy. We took 15 minutes tops to get that. And I've got the gem bag as well already from the mining. So, in terms of all that Slayer kind of equipment, we're kind of kitted out. Now you can see me testing out the herb sack at the Aberrant Spectres, which is obviously the oh, most useful thing for training herb. And you can see the ridiculous quantity of loot there. Six lava battle staffs, two mystic robe legs, three rune full helmets. I was questioning whether to pick them up to be honest. And a rune spear which is a rare drop table drop I believe. Now this clip might be kind of weird, you can't really tell what's going on, but I was doing a farming run and I just thought what if I just picked that fruit store once and lo and behold as you can see very first item in my inventory slot, no item dropped on the floor and there it was. Chest 69, we're back at Barrows obviously, got the Dark Sack, so we're halfway to completing that. 71, another Aram's Robe Top, mm, getting a bit annoyed with duplicates already. But then here we go, Verax Flail, the very next chest I believe, 72, yep. There we go, so getting quite a lot of pieces out of the way. And then finally, an Elite Clue Scroll there. And actually, I took the risk. Uh, I wanted to see what it would pay out, to so we ran into the wildy. I have both my accounts set up looking and also able to PJ if anything really went down, but I went to tank, you know. I've ha I had experience with PK, and so I felt like I would be able to get myself out of some situations, but if a massive clan logged in, you know, that would have been it. So yeah, we do this one, and then I check the coordinates, and look, it's inside. I haven't got any GP, I haven't got a bow and arrow or anything, so... We're going to run back to safety, re-gear and come back. Here we are. There we go. So this was super concerning for me. As to be sitting in the wilderness for any period of time it gets the heart racing. So, uh, you know, I was checking out both the accounts there, as you can see. Just making sure that no one was running in. Um, and then we take this guy down. You know, not too long, actually. But you can see... I was obviously dressed to tank, you know, I did not want to be messed around, there we go. Just getting that account back in, he saw somebody basically, so I logged out so as not to attract attention, and then I'm logging back in so that I can make the run back. <laughs> but there we go, A nice easy end to this elite clue scroll actually, here we go. I was so surprised, I thought this one would be a real struggle, the risk of going to the wilderness, I don't know if it was worth it, but we'll, you'll soon see. Whether it was or not, I'll let you make your own minds up. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Opening the chest. Oh, look at that. Master clue. I'm not even going to start it. Definitely can't complete any steps. But otherwise, it was just junk. Then we're back at Barrows. 85th chest. Guthans War Spear. That was it. I did 90 chests, and that was it. I, you know, needed a break, and I wanted to move on to other things. But we've made some good money. 90 chests to start out. Some useful gear. 
been using the Torag plate and the Dark's Helm a little bit to tank, obviously, as I ran into the wielding and that. But yeah, we're feeling like the bank's finally starting to grow and look a bit more professional. Here we are. This is my very, very first Jad attempt. I didn't manage to get any carols in time for it, so I just went with the Red Dehyde. And you know what? It probably wasn't the worst idea in the world, but it took ages. I think my finish time was 116 minutes. I encountered something kind of strange here. I used to think that you could just hit the healers off, and once they're hitting you, they wouldn't heal Jad. But he did, for some reason, continue to be healed. So I had to think on my feet and just took the healers down, hoping that they wouldn't respawn. I believe, you know, they would respawn if they got him above half health there. So I think I was quite lucky. And then here we are, we're low on prayer at this point, hence why I'm not using Eagle Eye. And I'm just trying to survive at this point. We're going to get through it. It's quite a long fight, as you can tell. But, uh... Yeah, I was quite ready for it. See, fight caves are something something that I really enjoy, actually. Um, it seems like a huge task, and it's quite scary when you're going into it when you're not fully equipped with, you know, Varax helm, Varax skirt, and, you know, black dehyde or Carol's top, and a blowpipe, even. I mean, you know, it makes it a lot, a lot easier. But we did manage to make it through. That's that. Jad got taken down, 116 minutes and 39 seconds for my first skill count. Here we go, and there it is. Come on, get your stuff together, equip that. Boom. First fire cave of the account. Fantastic. And uh, one of the reasons, obviously, for getting this is for praying. You know, it's great prayer boosting gear with a strength bonus. It's fantastic cape, and it looks amazing. You know, you're not a proper account unless you've got a fire cape. So that was always the thing. It also unlocked access to the new areas, which are going to be incredibly useful. You know, considering obsidian armor is actually pretty powerful. Um, I might be going for a full set, but for now, I've just got enough to get the legs, so we're going to go and get them now. So these legs, they have plus one strength bonus, so it's going to be useful for a while. I have heard people say that the plus one strength bonus doesn't actually increase your max hit at all, so a lot of people don't buy them, but you know what, for the sake of uh, a cool item and a few chaos runes, which I have plenty of, I thought I'd go for it, you know, get some more tanky gear. I think they look quite nice. I might go for the full set. We'll see in future. Right, here we are. We're doing some more hard clue scrolls. I've been killing blue dragons, but this this was a great clue scroll. Two pages and some teleports uh, really, really worked out. So, uh, these... I couldn't tell at the time whether any of those were unique or not, but as we get to the bank, here you can see... Oh, there it is. That's my fourth Armadillo page. So incredibly lucky. Six pages in total, and I've got one book completed. That's madness. And a spare Zami page as well. So that was really, really, really filling the book. It was quite an exciting moment. I can't use it yet, because I'm at the Blue Dragons. I don't risk falling asleep and getting dragon fired out, so I'm not going to use it until we're training on other things. But yeah, the Blue Dragon grind is super long. We need, like, 1800 actually more than I think we need like nearly 1900 dragon bones and then I also need to make a gilded altar so yeah I've been getting a few hard clue scrolls and here's a really important one it doesn't look like much but a black dehyde body that's going to save me hours of grinding so that's fantastic upgrade and then and the next one I managed to complete black dehyde chaps which was fantastic again you know full black dehyde now with red rid of this red dehyde fantastic news <laughs> so so good and then you know an armadillo page no an ancient page sorry to top it off as well so very lucky here we are we're just killing the blue dragons again we're just carrying on like i said we've got like nearly 1900 we need to get but it is training range quite nicely so we've got to uh 80 or so and 80 hp um so that's a couple of levels for range and just one for the hp i think since i started um, you know, and some of you might think I'm crazy for ranging them, a safe spot where it's only single, but I've actually done some timing, um, and if I melee them in the spot just to the east here, where there's a bunch of dragons together without any babies, 
I can fill an inventory in about 10 minutes and 30 seconds, but put myself at risk of dying. I need to bring quite a lot of food, and if I fall asleep or something, I will die there. Um, and then I tried ranging with Void as well, which, as you might have guessed, is, is you know basically exactly the same as Black Dehyde at this point on Dragons. I think there was one second in it, basically. I did a run with the Black Dehyde, and that was 12 minutes 35, and then with the Void, I was looking at 12 minutes 34, you know, for the same inventory. So, um, yeah, I stuck to the Black Dehyde, um, because, you know, it's more accurate. I think over time it will be more efficient than the Void. But, yeah, we've I'll show you how far we've got through once we get back to the bank. But if you want to just have a look at the total stats again, we're up to 1550 total today. That was quite nice. That was when HP leveled up. So, you know, obviously that was quite a long one. But yeah, there we go. So we've got, I think, 80 major slightly different. A lot of these things haven't really come up. Farming has a little bit. I've done a tiny bit of mining. Um, but, you know, really for the last two weeks, I want to say, I've been killing blue dragons, and I think it's going to take me at least another week of killing them, and then maybe another week of just purely doing construction and getting the planks and everything to get me to that point where I can make the gilded altar and get on with it, basically. I don't really want to be going back to the ectofunctus. There we go, just a quick look at my quest points whilst we're going back to the bank. So 191 since I got the Barrow's Gloves, not doing too badly, but there's nothing really that I need to focus on at the moment. There's a couple of things for uh, the clue squads that you've just seen me complete, but other than that, um, it's been not much progress on that front either. So here we go, let's just deposit these and you can see the full effect. So bank value sitting at 51.1 without the uh, Ranger Boots and things like that. So you know, about 72 mil thereabouts. And then there we go. So, oh, right, I'm up to 1,200 dragon bones, plus 48 bone mill, which are dragon bones, so I can use those. So what, 630 left? And obviously these blue dehydes I'm going to tan and then turn into bodies and high arc for some sweet crafting XP, major XP, and some good money to help me go towards the construction grind, obviously. But I've already started making some planks, it's just that I don't enjoy that that much. It's quite um, quite rapid. You have to cut your logs and then immediately go pay for them, run a long way, and then carry on. You know, doing that in the woodcutting guild. So um, I'm finding that less fun. So I'm doing the really long bit first, and we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll do you know hopefully one good evening of oak planks to get all the way to the uh, point where we can do what we want to do. So yeah, that's a, a quick look at the bank. You can see the barrows tab again if you want. There it is. You know, obviously, the Dark's Helm would stack over with that, but I'm quite pleased with that, really. And then the runes, the Chaos runes are still quite well stocked. I've definitely been profiting on Death Runes with an Iban Blast. It's an amazing spell. I don't know why, you know, people hate it, but it is really, really, really good, and it's definitely profitable. And again, uh, I've got up about 2,000 Blood Runes, I want to say, from doing Barriers. I think I was on, you know, maybe like 300 or 400 before that started. But yeah, so we've got the Ancient Star from Desert Treasure as well. And uh, finally, I'll just show you the high scores. Ooh. So here we go. I've just refreshed that just before I hit record. So we're down to 752. I was a 747 about a week and a half ago. But obviously, you gain very little levels whilst you're just killing blue dragons. So um, yeah, there's not much has changed at all. Um, and a lot of the ranks are slipping a bit, but Mage, you know, again, still quite on par, I think. I want to get that to 83 for to make some more Barrows tabs. I know a lot of people say that's not really worth it, but um, I find them quite satisfying. I, the worst thing about Barrows is banking and coming back, and if I can reduce that to nothing, then, you know, I can Barrows all day long, and I really, really, really do enjoy it. So, uh, yeah. But there you go. That's... Um, that's the update. I think I'm up to about 770 hours at this point. Obviously, I'm going to be quite vague because, you know, you don't want people hacking you and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, um, so we're doing well, I think. Uh, if you guys have got any tips, I would really love to hear it because, you know, anything that can speed up, you know, getting bones. Obviously, I am not going to risk going and killing 800 green dragons in the wildy because one barrage to G more spec and that'll be it. 
that'd be hardcore account over so uh, don't bother suggesting that people have and uh, I will continue to not do that so yeah anyway have a good day guys um, I hope you enjoyed it please leave me some feedback leave me uh, a like if you did enjoy it you know subscribe if you want to um, and I'm hoping to put out PK videos soon as well I have been doing a little bit in between just to break up this grind so um, yeah just have a good one take it easy <laughs>